Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this week's foundation class. Today's class is called Triple Double. So what Triple Double refers to is that today's class in particular really going to be focused on what's known in the physiology world as triple flexion when your hips, your knees, and your ankles all, you know, great, triple flex together, meaning like a squat or just to get you lower to the floor. And triple extension when your hips extend, your knees extend, and the ankle hips extend as well. And so we'll be finding a lot of moves that'll help us find this uh, triple flexion, triple extension, but also help us really work that flexibility and range of motion into the hips so we can move the bones in directions that will be most sustainable to direct that energy into the pelvis and through the core. And it's called double because today's class will have a little bit of a different format keep us in that shorter time frame, but we'll do our regular reset, we'll have our sun salutation, and then we'll go right into two sequences that will be very, very similar, but then we'll just kind of add and spice some things up on that second sequence. Again, the focus being to really get ourselves comfortable, clear, and familiar with what triple flexion and triple extension means for our body and why it's so important for getting us to the floor. So speaking of which, let's come down onto the ground. I have two blocks with me here to help me bring the floor a little bit closer to me too. So like we'll be holding, bring our hands to the ground and such. If you know the floor is typically um, hard to reach for, get those blocks, bring that floor a little bit closer. It'll be really helpful for you. So come down onto your back. You're going to get your hips, your shoulders, back to fall on the ground. Take our hands to the front of the thighs here. And then pressing your palm into your legs here, very top of them, you'll lift your hips, squeeze the glutes, and root that toe in towards the heels. So, what your palms are feeling here is extension of the hips. It's getting into a little bit more of that extended feeling, helping us uncork some of the stuff into your hips. You might even take your hands and press them even more into the tops of the thighs, feel that like uncorking and traction around where the hips meet. So that's where those leg bones plug in to that pelvic socket. You can keep your hands even around the glutes. Give them a little squeeze or coat with the fingertips and just kind of feel around there. Make sure that both those glute muscles are working up and firing for you. Now we'll keep our little bridge lift here. Again, really prioritize the glutes being on, the hips opening up, feeling like you're getting some uncorking in the hips and the low back is gonna to wanna to stay long. So notice if you're using it to really push yourself and hold that there. Let's draw more into the core, more into the glutes, and that'll help alleviate some of that low back tension. Bring your palms up towards the ceiling and spread your fingers. You just gonna spread those fingers out here and let everything open up. Keep your left hand across the right four fingers, getting a little stretch. We're just preparing our palms for a little bit of a weight bearing that they'll have today. You should really feel like your glutes are really fired up here. You might even feel that deep in the calves, the hamstrings are helping, but we do want those glutes getting that fire as well. So make sure they're working for you. You can switch hand, roll the rest of the first hand before you take it over. It's just a nice way to get a little movement really going in there. Take a big breath in. Breathe it out. the left wrist. Let's bring both our arms back down on top of those thighs, so palms on top of the thighs, and then use your core to lower yourself down, upper, middle, and lower back. It's nice and strong there. Everything reconnecting, keep that natural curve of the low back, of the neck, of the skull, the shoulders, back of the hips, come back down onto the floor. Fingers tied, hands come behind the head. Now we're going to feel a little bit of hip flexion here. So first, just stabilizing the core. Take a big inhale. Exhale, draw everything into the center and lift the shoulder blades. So that means we feel the front line of the body is pulled towards that back line of the body. It's like the two side lines, the ribs are corseting together and cinching in. We might even feel like the top line and the bottom line, the low ribs and the top of the hips are just sandwiching in just a little bit closer. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. So we hold these first couple of abdominal activators in order to do just that, activate the Keep this stabilizing ab, which unfortunately can be a little bit sleepy on us. Inhale, lower. Exhale and lift. Everything draws together. Then take the right knee over the right hip. 
So you just have that right knee over the right hip and the knee is still bent. Here's our hip flexion here, just feeling that. Look at your toes, spread them, let that right foot really energize. You're still at the shoulder blade, you can feel that right knee came over the hip. Right foot comes down and then shoulder blade come down. Inhale, exhale, lift. Left knee comes over the left hip. Again, try to look at those toes with the left foot if you can. Spread them, bring that left knee over the left hip, feel the belly go down. Left foot comes down, inhale, on. Exhale and lift. Everything goes together. The right knee comes over the right hip, spread those toes, bring the left hand on top of the right thigh. Now feel that hip flexor firing up here as you press that left palm into that right hand. So you're going across your body and resisting it. Then bring the right foot down, left hand back, inhale, lower. To the other side, exhale, lift. The left knee comes up and the right palm goes across the body and connects into that left thigh. Now your leg is pretty strong here, so really let it fight that palm as it presses against, so you're pulling down deeper into the guts. Then inhale and lower, left foot comes down, right hand comes back. Last one on each side, exhale, lift. Everything draws together. Hip flex the right hip, bring the left hand to that right thigh. You can really feel that hip flexor turn on, pull deeper into that. You can scoop your toe on a little bit. Left hand comes back, right foot comes down, inhale and lower. Last one, exhale, lift. Everything draws together. Left knee comes over the left hip, right hand on top of the left thigh. Press them together. Feel like everything is drawing into that central line, that one long string in the middle. Bring the left foot back, right hand back, and go and lower. <laughs> Come around on your hands and knees. Let's take all the good heat and engagement we just built in the core and bring it into an all fours quadruped position. So if you've never done a quadruped, it's uh, you know like getting ready to crawl. Check in here. Bring those hands underneath the shoulders. Press your palms. Spread your fingers. Fingertips grip the floor. They won't actually move, but feel like your left hand can dial out, your right hand can dial out to the right. Everything's centrally in. Feel yourself lift the head, but don't lift the chin. So we want to feel the skeleton line of the shoulders that's drooping down, and then bring some attention down to the ribs. Are you spilling in the guts? See if you can use the press in the hands to bring the shoulder blades on the back ribs, and then maintain that good core strong engagement that we just built up through all core work. So again, it's like the whole front line of the body is pulling and compressing down from that back line of the body. Keep the right toes on the ground, but come into hip extension by driving that right heel towards the back of the mat. So we're extending our hips, and that right boot fire up. Your right leg will not come very high, it's just going to be a couple of inches. We're lifting the right leg, not moving in the pelvis here, collapsing the core, but actually trying to hold that pelvis just steady here so we can really work on getting clear about our hip extension. Pull the right thigh in towards the torso. You'll bend the right knee and really gather everything into the middle. Right toes come down and then again, kick it back. Hip extension. Lift the right leg using the right glute and then that right thigh pulls in towards the belly. Avoid the temptation to really round in the back, but really just let that hip flexor hold it in. And then you just like touch your right big toe down again as you kick it back. So this kind of gives us an insurance policy of using that right glute to extend the hip, lifting the leg. It's just like your bridge. Remember how fired up your right glute, both your glutes were, because that's what they do. They extend the hips. You'll pull your right knee and thigh in, sweep the belly, and then just bring your right knee down to the left. You need a quick little shake out of your wrist. Go for it. Bring your hands back down again. Grab that fourth fingertips. Left toes are still on the floor. You extend the left leg back. So you're extending, firing up the glute, making sure that power comes from that large muscle. Lifting the left leg, feel like the belly is lifting into the back line. Try not to do the lift from shifting the pelvis. And then pull your left thigh towards the torso. Really pull this thing in and woo, lift that belly. Strong the forward here, hands pressing into the floor. Extend the left leg back with the left toes still on the ground. So try to touch those left toes down as you extend back. You have a nice sticky mat that will really make it challenging. Then lift the left leg. The thigh pulls into the belly using the core strength. Four times pose, extend, heel, everything goes back, left leg lifts. Try to lift the leg with the power of the glute, not by tipping your pelvis forward, and then pull your left thigh in, bend the left knee. So you can use the hip flexor, the strength of the core, and you know, it's no problem to use the back, but look how good it is. You already are. So let's use something where um, you need a little more work at. Let's bring that left knee down. Really good job here, everyone. From quadruped, we're going to move directly into downward facing dog. So again, have your toes tucked, knees can be underneath those hips. 
First, I'm going to bring you to hover your knees. So first, just press your toes, touch your hands, hover your knees. Weight is equal in the hands and the toes. Hoist your pelvis up towards the ceiling. Keep pressing into your hands and feel yourself pulling with your hands so that your palms are really connected into the ground. And again, it feels like your right hand is trying to dial out to the right, your left hand is trying to dial out to the left. We're hugging our scapula onto our back ribs. Lift the low ribs up into the belly. And then again, feel like you're trying to hoist your pelvis up towards the ceiling. Allow the knees to have as much bend into them as it feels comfortable. So you can put a little triple flexion into your knees and give your back much more space. You want to feel the spine as long and balanced. And you want to feel that the hands are getting some interaction with the floor. So be cautious if you're really allowing your chest to sag back to the leg and you're totally collapsing in your uh, shoulder heads. That's not going to feel good after a little while. So I want you to really engage your shoulders and get strong and serious about holding that upper body in the down dog. Now walk the hands back towards your feet. We're going to come into a triple flexion. So you can come up onto the fingertips as you come back. We're going to take your blocks with you. But let your butt sit as low as it wants. You have a triple flexion in the ankles, in the knees, and in the hips. Everybody's going to bring your hands up to your shins and then stand up. First, just a double flexion through the knees and the hips. So the action, so it's extension. <laughs> The knees extend, the hips extend. We're standing up tall here. Triple extension would be pushing into the toes and extending the ankles. So if that already feels like a lot, you can stick with the knees and the hips. Here's my point there. We're going to do this like four more times. Trace the hands down the thighs, down the shins, towards the ankles. It's okay if even like, like midway, you're like, oh, I don't think I'm going any lower. That's totally fine. We're just working, again, triple flexion, ankles, knees, hips, and standing up. Triple extension. See if you can get those ankles involved by pushing into those big toe mounts again. Trace the pants down, the ankles, or just as low as you can go. Push into the feet, extend the hips, knees, and ankles. Full flexion, so everything works together. Extension, everything extending together. And the hands are helpful here. So the reason we're starting off with this is so often you will see a lot of us, because we're so limited in our hip mobility, shoot the knees forward. So the hands here are going to give you a little, again, insurance policy that you're not letting that femur bone shoot into the knee joint, but that you're actually moving it back that hip joint, which is much larger, has a little bit more space to take it and to move it and to keep it going sustainably. So one more time, press those toes, lower the heels, and let's meet ourselves at the top of the mat. We'll start off with sun salutation one, and again, we'll get into our two sequences today before we find our rest. Inhale, arm reach forward and up. Exhale, here's the first one. Hinge the hips, the knees, and the ankles. So let everything bend. Try to bring your fingertips, your palms to the ground. Hands land, right foot steps back. Right knee comes down, right foot comes down. Inhale, arm reach forward and up. Feel the right glute is working. You can bring the right hand around real quick. Give it a little squeeze, make sure it's on. Hands come down, tuck the right toes, lift the left foot back into the plank. Lower the knees, lower all the way to the floor. So right away, feel that core is on, glutes are working. We did so many good work to fire it up, untuck the toes, pull back the hands, and help your cobra. Lift, down dog, press into the hands. The hips will come high. You can even walk the feet in. Right foot steps forward, left knee comes down, toes on top, inhale, arm reach forward. Now, top of the foot drives into the floor, root the tailbone, reach with the shoulder blades. Hands come down, fingertips, palms onto the blocks. Set the left foot to meet the right, so this is our triple flexion, ankles, knees, hips. Triple extend. Sink the hips a little bit so you'll go even deeper into that flexion before triple extending angle knees and hips. And then heels come down, knees bend, hips flex, and move back in space. You can even hook your thumbs and toe to help you with that action of bringing the ribs towards the thighs. Hands come down, blocks are great, bring that floor closer. Left hips look back. Left knee comes down, toes stay up. Inhale, arms reach forward and up. The left boot is rooting to the floor, belly's drawing in. Hands come down. Keep that left toe tucked as you step the right foot back to the end. Find pose, lower the knees, go all the way to the ground. Head of the arm bones stay lifted. Inhale, root your tailbone, lift your belly into the back. Pull the hands back and cobra. It'll lift your chest and try not to lift the chin. Tuck the toes, lift, down dog. Left foot steps forward, right knee comes down. Toes can stay tucked, arms reach forward. And up, glutes are working here, firing up, arms reach. Hands come down, 
Load your palms, load the fingertips, whatever you're on. You bring a little weight into the shoulders, right? Let's that some equal action. Hold flexion. Press into those feet. Extend the hips, the knees, maybe the ankles. Get into our sequence here. So, once again, bring those hands in front of the hip points here. Trace the hands down the thighs, down the shins. Stand back up, up the shins, up the thighs, push through the toes. Now from here, you can kind of leave the knees, now you've got that down, and just touch the floor with either your fingertips, your palms, or hey, grab those blocks and get them in that position where you can get to the floor. So what we're trying to do though, again, is move our hips back in space to really get that flexion and keep that centering and that weight distribution, knees pretty much over those ankle joints and it come forward a little bit. One more time. I'll come hands to the floor. If you're on the blocks, you'll move the blocks, hands to the ground, step the right leg back, step the left leg back, plank pose. Pause and plank here. Let's check in real quick. Hands are hitting the ground. Grab the floor with the fingertips. Pull those shoulder blades onto the back ribs. It's almost like you're trying to pull your hand back toward your legs. Let that lift your belly, squeeze your glutes, and then again, lift your head, but don't lift your chin. Notice that's really sinking on you. Lift the hips, place them up towards the ceiling, downward facing dog. Feel free to bend the knees and come onto the toes so the heels can lift. Think like weight 60% in your hands, 40% in your feet. Walk the hand back towards the toes. We're coming to that squat that we did at the very beginning of class. So walk back, you can come onto the fingertips until your buttock comes directly over top of the ankles. You'll feel that. Sit back into the heels. Grab the floor of the toes. You can inchworm and crawl those fingertips forward. The spine is long here. Belly's lifting into the low back. Spread the toes, push into your feet, and lift the glutes. So squeeze the glutes and feel like you're trying to lift and hoist the pelvis up high again. Even though we're sitting the weight back, we're also pressing into the feet and feeling that feedback of the legs into the floor. So there's this communication sitting back and down, getting that lengthening. One more breath here. And this is triple flexion, ankle, knee, hip, all flex, getting that opening to the back. Walk yourself back to the downward facing dog. Arrive there. Again, let your hands be a part of the equation. They might even feel like it's like 60% in your hands, 40% in your feet. You can even go a little bit wider in your down dog than you normally do. So step the feet a little further apart. And we'll just do this a couple of times. We're leading with the left leg. Step the left foot towards your left hand, and it doesn't have to come all the way up to it. The right foot's going to step towards the right wrist. So again, it doesn't have to come all the way up there. We're sort of just in like this wide squat. Left foot steps back and down dog. Right foot steps back and down dog. Left foot steps forward towards the wrist. Right foot steps forward. We're just going to go back and forth between these two. A little triple flexion, stepping forward, a little extension of the hip. Getting that knee, that hip extended, even the ankle is getting its extension as it kind of reaches that toe back. Really nice here. Let's do one more left, right, left, right. Step the left foot forward, warrior two. So left foot is forward, right arm reaches up and around. Left knee is forward, flex the left hip, extend the right hip. Your right foot is kind of lined up at the back of the mat here. Bring the right hand to the chest, flip the front palm one time here, reach the right arm up. And then bring forearm to thigh, right arm sweeps over, right ear. Now coming to goddess, we're going to take both of our hips into a little flexion. So that back right knee bends, and bring the body into the center. Just a little pulse here, hands are going to stay on the thighs, ribs will stay contained. Four is on, then the energy that we can cultivate to free the hips from this triple flexion, the ankles and knees, joints there. You can keep reading your pelvis, hold those ribs in steady. Three, two, and one. Pause, windmill, hands back around to the front. And then walk your hand back to the right, side lunges, sorry, fake out here. Side lunges to the right, side lunges to the left. It'll be a little bit smoother on that second side. One more time to the right, one more time to the left. Walk the hands to the front. Step your right foot to meet your left foot. Inhale, arms reach forward now, stand up tall. Exhale, into the hips, hands come down. Inhale, reach back up, press into the floor. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, arms reach up. So again, we're working our triple flexion, triple extension. Sit the hips back, bring the ribs towards the thighs. You can either touch the whole palm down, maybe it's the fingertips, maybe your hands are coming to the block somehow. But again, 
you can also always bring the thumbs into the hip creases and really work on physically pulling your hips back. Also notice the chin, see if that's lifting for you. Just like that cobra, we're gonna keep the head lifted, but we wanna keep that chin tucked in. It's gonna lengthen the spine more for you. One more time, hands come down, you're on the blocks, remove the blocks, and just bring the hands all the way down. It's okay if your butt's really close to the ground. Step one foot back, left, and then right, plank pose. Strong in that plank. Once again, let's check in. Fingertips grab the floor. Hands are pushing into the floor. Dial the left hand up to the left, right hand up to the right. Throat is lifted, glutes are on, inhale. And then hoist the pelvis up. You can even step your toes a little bit closer to the hands. Down dog. Walk the hands back into happy squat. So we're bringing our hips over the heels. Let the knees bend. Feel the ribs on the thighs and lift the belly into the low back. Fingertips walk forward. Spine is long. Spread the toes. Inhale. Squeeze your glutes. Press your feet to the floor. And then walk the hands back, downward facing dog. So we're working that triple flexion, preparing us for this step forward. Lead with the right leg this time, right foot steps towards the right wrist. If you have some space between that wrist and the big toe, left foot steps towards that left wrist. And then right foot back into down dog, left foot back into down dog. So right, left, little wide squat near the top of the mat, right, left, down dog. Keep going, right, left, right, left. From that little squat, hands down to that down dog again. Flexing the hips, two step forward, getting a little hip extension, but the whole time keeping that core on and strong. Really good here. Let's get one more. Keep the palms on the ground. Really try to work that. Even if your step is much smaller, that's fine. Right foot steps forward, warrior two. Arrive here. So the right hips in flexion, left hips in extension. Left foot's working, left foot's lined up with that back of the mat. Arms reach out. Flip the right hand. Reach up. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. Form the thigh. Left arm sweeps over. Extending warrior. Left glute really squeezes here. Rise up to goddess. Externally rotate the hips. Sit down into the hips. Core is on and strong. Again, you can press your palms into the thighs, give a little pulse here and feel that energy, the triple flexion working. You redistribute, coming into the core. When the core is steady, we don't just let it leak out. We can bring that heat, that opening all throughout the body. And then from goddess, push into the toes, extend the legs, parallel the feet, so back into the right hip, side lunge to the right, come to the left, side lunge to the left. So I'm sitting my hips back in space, pressing into the feet to get some mobility through there. Really good. One more to the right, one more to the left. Walk the hands back to the front of the mat and step your left foot into the right. Inhale, arms reach forward. Now, get ready for our double. Exhale, bring those hands, fingertips to the floor. But again, triple flex hips, knees, ankles, little tap and reach up. Push in the toes, little tap, maybe a hop up. Bring the hands down. You can just keep touching or you can bring the hands down and maybe try to hop back. We'll just do a couple of these. So it's a hop up at the top. Hands come down from that triple flexion, triple extension, hop back, bring it back up, little hop, hands come down, you don't have to move super fast to it, little hop back, little extension, bring it forward, flexion, hop up, let's get one more all the way back and up again, little hop up, or again, you're just flexing and extending, everyone, hands come down, hop back, plank pose, strong that plank, big inhale, Down dog, walk the hands back, happy squat, triple flexion here. So let's get the glutes over the ankles, knees can bend as much as you need to to get those ribs in contact, walk the fingertips forward, release the neck here. Keep pressing your feet, keep squeezing your glutes, especially right where you feel the leg plugs into the back. Uh, 
high. Walk your hands forward, put to downward facing dog. Now, once again, step the left foot up towards that left hand, right foot up towards that right hand. Left foot back, right foot back. You can stay the same with this, stepping left, right, left, right from swap the hands down to our down dog or hop them both up, hop them both back. So you're still going from this squat, triple flexion, a little extension, hop back to down dog. Wherever you're going, so I'll get two more. Everyone meeting down dog, step the left foot, everyone rise right up to goddess. Nice. Settle in to that goddess. Both post your arms, make fists, forearms come in line with the floor, also back, holding that core steady, opening up into the shoulders a little bit more. And then fold, bring right forearm to right thigh, reach the left arm over, come back up through center, left forearm to right thigh, left thigh, right arm over. Ha. So same arm to same leg and reach over. Nice, same arm to same leg and reach over. Let's get two more. One more, right arm reaches over. And then just rise up in the middle, parallel with feet, side lunge to the right. Back to center, side lunge to the left. You can stay high with the hands on the thighs. Again, you can hook your thumbs and your hip creases and really help yourself sit back. You can always trace your hands down the thighs a little onto the shins and feel a little more length. Really nice. And then we'll walk it back to the front. All right, one more side here. Stand up tall. Even here, let's all do it. So hips are already extended, knees are extended, pushing your toes, extend the ankles with the heels, heels come down, knees bend, maybe touch the fingertips down. Press into those feet, extend the hips, the knees, the toes, maybe lift the heels. Bring it down, maybe the palms touch. Maybe get a little hop. There's some explosion. That's what that triple extension does. Hands come down, they might land. Triple extension, hop back. It's like a little sprawl. So feet come forward, get a little hop at the top. Hands come down, hop back. Core is on the whole time. We keep that core on and pull Shavasana. But we did all that good hard work, waking it up. And now we're putting our triple flexion, triple extension into action, into the world. Let's all get one more to the back. One more to the front. Again, if you're just rising, then everybody bring your hands down and go back behind. Hold, breathe, place the pelvis high, start to walk the hands back, happy squat. Palms can be on the ground for this one. You can keep them under the shoulders. So lift the hips up high. You decide what you want. You can still walk the fingertips forward, squeeze the glutes, release the neck, grips on the thighs. Walk the hands out, down dog. This time we'll leave it the right. Right foot steps towards the right hand, left foot steps towards the left hand. Right foot steps back in the down dog, left foot steps back in the down dog. Right foot forward, left foot forward. Right foot back, left foot back. Or double hop, double hop. And you're still coming from like hands down, it's like a froggy squat. And then jumping back into that down dog. Feet can kind of come together for down dog. And obviously they're going a little wider for your squat here. Flex, extend. Flex, extend, let's get one more flex, extend, step the right foot forward, rise up to your goddess here. So sit the hips down, your legs don't have to be that wide. Full post the arms, forearms in line with the floor, pulse it back, just for five. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, three, two, and one. Go, left forearm to left thigh, right arm reaches over, back through center, right forearm to right thigh, left arm, one more time, right over. Ooh. And then left over, rise up, parallel the feet, side lunge to the right, side lunge to the left. You can slide the hands down, maybe all the way to the ankles, not to around the back too much. And then we'll all walk ourselves around, come onto our back. We'll have cool down move here. We'll cross right ankle over the left thigh, externally rotate that right. Femur bone, put a little hip opener here. You can, uh, you'll probably feel fine like this. If you want a little bit more, use the strength of your left thigh and your hip flexion on the left to open up the right external rotator. So you want to use the strength of the hips to open up the hips. 
And when we do a hip focus class, a triple double like this, then when we work our triple extension, triple flexion, this little opening, it's more earned, right? You can really feel that it's working. So you can bring your left foot down and cross that right angle and bring the left angle across over the right thigh. So again, it's figure four. First, just feel the external rotation on the left leg. And that's a fine place to stay or bring the right thigh over the hip and really pull it in and relax that right calf. Now it's towards the hamstring, take a big breath there. And so if the leg is lifted again, just let that right hip flexor be so strong, so capable that it's allowing, facilitating the opening of that left side. So here inhale. Exhale. Right foot comes down. Left ankle come across. You can keep the feet walk in, or you can send the legs long on the mat. We'll find a shavasana here. We do a very abbreviated shavasana, but if you want longer, just pause this feet. Take another inhale into the nose, up the mouth, little the fingers and toes. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. You can point the toes and the fingers, everything lengthen. And when you're ready, gather the legs in. Do a little rock from side to side. Roll over to a side that feels comfortable for you. You can use your top arm to press yourself up to a seated position. From your seated position, allow yourself to feel now all of that energizing. So when we connect again to that triple flexion, triple extension, we're practicing rising and falling. And that'll happen, right? Sometimes we'll find ourselves down there on the ground. We got to get back up. It's all about power in, we gotta practice it too. So let me, on this life of trying to reach and every one of you, I'm sorry everybody.